Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here. So I am remaking an old video that I made years ago because I have way more knowledge and experience about what we're gonna talk about in this video, and that is how to do intermittent fasting for serious weight loss, which it is one of the best things that I have ever found for myself to sustain a low body fat percentage all year round, and so many other people have as well. So this is why I absolutely love it, and I've talked about this many times on this channel, but today in this video, this is gonna be the most complete guide that I have ever made in a video for the 16-8 intermittent fasting diet. And if you're someone that doesn't know what this type of intermittent fasting diet entails, is that you fast for around 16 hours a day and eat for around an eight hour window. Preferably every single day, because that's gonna give you the greatest serious weight loss benefits. But if you're someone that doesn't wanna do it every single day, I would at least recommend doing it five times a week as a minimum. And when you're doing the 16-8 intermittent fasting method, you wanna make sure that you're doing it correctly. So like I said, fast for around 16 hours a day and then eat for around an eight hour window. And I'm gonna talk about later in the video about actually getting even greater serious weight loss benefits from daily intermittent fasting by extending the duration of your fast and shortening your eating window. So make sure that you stay tuned in this video and watch the whole thing so you can learn about that later on. But before I go on to that, I wanna talk about some of the mistakes that people make whilst doing intermittent fasting. So first off, there's some people that think drinking smoothies or juice are absolutely fine whilst in the fastest state. No, they are not whatsoever. They're gonna break you out of the fast. So I wanna to explain to you in full detail, acceptable drinks that you can drink in the intermittent fasted state that's not gonna break you out of that fasted state. So black coffee is absolutely fine. Do not add any type of butter to it or oil. Tea is absolutely fine, but keep away from fruit teas. Make sure you add no sugars to them. You can add some type of sweetness such as stevia to it. You also can have zero calorie drinks that have sweeteners added to them. And if you're someone that wants to, you can actually add salt to your water, but I would only recommend using Celtic sea salt because this is one of the most healthiest nutrient dense sea salts out there that you can possibly consume. And no, you cannot consume any protein sources whatsoever. A lot of people say, can I consume protein shakes? No. Some people say you consume BCAAs, what's in the fasted state, but I would personally not recommend it because there is some scientific research out there that shows if you take it in the fasted state, it actually causes an insulin response, which can break you out of the fasted state and stop you from getting the full intermittent fasting benefits. And obviously no alcohol, so they are the main drinks, but if there are other drinks that I haven't mentioned in this video that you're thinking, can I drink them or not? If they have got a significant amount of calories in and they cause insulin to actually raise and actually make your blood sugar levels go up, then you do not want to be consuming it. So that's just something to be very mindful and aware of whilst in your intermittent fasting state and you're drinking specific drinks. And now I wanna go on to the diet. So what type of diet can you consume whilst doing this 16-8 intermittent fasting diet? And what I'd say is you can consume any diet. It could be a ketogenic diet, paleo diet, bulletproof diet, vegan diet, raw vegan diet, the list just goes on and on and on. So go on a type of diet that you feel drawn to and try it out. And if you feel really, really good from it, health wise and energy wise, and it's helped optimizing your cognitive function and your mental health and your hormone production, then just stick to it. But if you're not feeling good from it, try a different diet. But the diets that I normally recommend to people is either a ketogenic diet, whether it's vegan or not, or a high carbohydrate, low fat, moderate protein, plant-based, whole foods, vegan diet. Because I have found those to work the best for people for giving the greatest weight loss benefits, especially when combined with the intermittent fasting diet. The plant-based vegan diet is the one that I eat. And as you can see, I have a very, very low body fat percentage. And it's not because I train loads and loads and loads, unlike what a lot of people think. I only train about three to four hours a week but due to intermittent fasting and eating the plant-based diet it helps me sustain this low body fat percentage all year round. And something to be aware of is when you are new to intermittent fasting, your body is used to your old eating 
patterns. So you may feel hungry for around the two week period after starting intermittent fasting and doing it daily for around that time period. But after around two weeks, you should start to find, at least most people do, with this intermittent fasting is that your hunger will start to vanish because your body gets used to your new eating patterns. So from my own experience and what I've seen with other people, after this duration of time, in 99% of people, they are no longer feeling hungry in the morning. It's easy for them to skip breakfast. And something in relation to your fasting window and your eating window, a lot of people ask me on a regular basis, when is the best time to start eating and stop eating. And what I say, it depends on your lifestyle. Some people work night shifts, some people work in the day, some people are more busy than other people, and some people have a desire to just eat at different times. But for me personally, I normally stop eating around 6 p.m. if I'm doing the 16 8 intermittent fasting diet, and then I don't start eating to at least 10 a.m. the next day. So all you have to do is make sure when you stop eating, that you use some type of intermittent fasting app on your phone. And I put the name for the one here that I use because I can't remember it off the top of my head. And then you can actually, on this app, set an alarm. So when you have reached your goal of 16 hours, then it will give you an alarm on your phone and then you know that you can eat then if you desire to do so. But if you're someone that's finding that the hunger is just too much for you, just make sure that you're drinking an abundance of water throughout the day. There are a lot of people out there that say you should drink a set amount of water, but it just varies from person to person. So just be mindful around this and drink the amount of water that your body wants you to drink and just make sure that you are well hydrated. And things such as coffee or also apple cider vinegar added to water or even the Celtic sea salt, I found these things to be the best thing for suppressing appetite. And you may also be just someone that's craving food because you're bored or you've got intense emotions going on or you just want that satisfaction. So it may be coming up due to those reasons. So just be mindful around why you may be feeling hungry because it may be due to those reasons and just make sure you then focus upon something that you enjoy to do and that you can meet your emotional needs and other various things as well because then it makes it easier to stick to intermittent fasting. And now I'm gonna go on to a couple of different things that can help give you even more rapid weight loss benefits with daily intermittent fasting. So it has been shown through scientific research that the longer that you fast, the greater the benefits are from daily intermittent fasting. If you don't know what they are, what happens when you are intermittent fasting, it makes insulin go really low, which is a fat storage hormone. It improves insulin sensitivity. It makes testosterone levels go anywhere from 200 to 400% increase within the body in males and around 100 to 150% within female. And human growth hormone, production goes up by about 2,000% in men and anywhere in females up to a 1,300% increase in human growth hormone. And both of these hormones, testosterone and human growth hormone, are key for increasing muscle mass and reducing your body fat percentage. And then there's another hormone known as glucagon. And glucagon allows your body to go in that fat burning mode. And when you have stopped eating about six to eight hours after your last meal and you go into this intermittent fasted state, your body burns through all of the calories from that food. Your body then starts burning its own body fat as fuel. So due to all of those different reasons, that I've mentioned, that's why it is so amazing intermittent fasting giving you serious weight loss benefits. But as I'm gonna mention now and explain to you very clearly, if you fast for even longer than 16 hours, it increases all of those benefits as proven in some scientific studies. And I can put a little graph here that shows when the benefits of fasting start to kick in, which is around the 12 hour mark, and then how it starts to increase more and more and more, even up to the 24 hour fasting window. So if you're someone that feels that you could easily fast longer and you wanna get the quickest weight loss benefits possible, then you can start to shorten your eating window and make your fasting window a lot longer. But if you're someone that's very new, I'd recommend starting off with 16 hours 
of fasting a day, eat for around an eight hour window, and then you can start slowly increasing over time. You can go to 16 and a half, 17, 17 and a half, 18, and just build it up over time. So your body just gets used to it, and so you get used to it mentally as well. And I'm someone that did one meal a day for around seven months, and I absolutely loved it. And I would fast anywhere from 22 to 25 hours a day, but I did 16, eight intermittent fasting diet for quite some time before that. And then I naturally went towards one meal a day. And if you're someone that wants to learn how to actually succeed on the one meal a day diet and how to do it, I put a link for a video where I talk about that in full depth and you can click that now. And one last thing, if you train in the intermittent fasted state, it also increases all of the benefits that I mentioned earlier on. And because obviously your body hasn't got any calories from food within your body to burn, it just multiplies the fat burning benefits, especially if you're doing high intensity interval training whilst in the intermittent fasted state. But obviously, not everyone is gonna be used to training in the intermittent fasted state. So what I'd recommend is once you get used to intermittent fasting, experiment with training, and you could try some really intense training, see how you feel. But what I would recommend for most people is to do the training at least a few hours before you're going to break your daily intermittent fast. Because if you eat straight after your training, you're not gonna get the greatest benefits of combining exercise with your daily intermittent fasting diet. So that's just something to be very mindful of. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I get back as soon as possible. I love answering your questions. And if you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. I don't mind. And please share this video with anyone that you think would love to learn about how to do serious intermittent fasting for serious weight loss in this complete guide video that I have made for you today. And if you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. And if you subscribe to the type of videos you expect to get from me, are informational videos on intermittent fasting, one meal a day, calisthenics workout and progression videos, weight loss videos, or even weight gain videos if you're someone that is super, super skinny. And other videos you could expect to get from me are what I eat in a day and what I do in a day videos and many other different videos to share information with you to go in the direction for you to do consistently so you can get the body desired fitness levels and the energy levels as well. So if those type of videos sound good to you, make sure you click the subscribe button down below and you click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise YouTube is not gonna notify you of when new videos are uploaded. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go and get those gains. Peace.